Hello guys, welcome to today's session of tutorials on one-way analysis of variance, which is ANOVA in Python. Um, why one-way ANOVA test? We use one-way ANOVA test to determine whether there is any Saskatchewan significant difference between the means of three or more independent groups. So when it becomes one is a mean of two groups, that means you two test t test. And specifically, I want to test the now, the now hypothesis that the means of each group are the same. They are not different. So that the mean of one group is the same as the mean of the other groups. So when our one-way ANOVA re re test returns a statistical significant result, we reject the now hypothesis. That means that if it is less than 0.05, we reject it. But when it's greater than 0.05, we accept the now hypothesis. So when it is um, significant, it has a significant result, then we accept the alternative hypothesis, which says that the individual means of each group are not the same. They are different. They vary, and they have different effects of it. So for us to understand, we will take you through um, a case problem. A lecturer wants to find out whether the three teaching methods in this university are different in terms of the student performance. He therefore group the student based on those who were taught using a blackboard, case presentation, PowerPoint presentation after he gave them the test. So these are the test results. These are the scores. So those under the blackboard, blackboard method or model, these are the scores. They have 3, 2, 1, and then case presentation 5, 3, 4, and then PowerPoint 5, 6, 7. For us to work this in Python, we need to convert this table into two, two tables. So we have, for instance, we have treatment and value. So what the command which we use doing that is what we call a pd.melt. It's a command in Python. We'll be demonstrating this um, soon. So we have the blackboard here, and then we have three. So blackboard three, then blackboard two, blackboard one, and then case report. So let's demonstrate in Python, in Python file. So this is my Visual Studio code, and I'm running Python in, in, in it. So for us to first of all get our data frame where we are going to work with our data frame is actually located that our drive C is drive C. Here is the data frame drive C drive C. So um, we have to import it into the Visual Studio code. For because I'm using the data frame, I have to import pandas as PD. Then import numpy because we're using numbers as um, MP. Then we import glob. Glob will make us able to get the directory or the file we are working with, um, easier. So one is done. Then well, let's create a variable. Let's say file. Then we we'll glob it. Glob dot glob. Then we'll bring our quotes and then our star. Then dot because it's an Excel sheet. We we'll put the so um extension there and then we'll, we'll, we'll run it then let's open the file and see what files we have there so these are the files we have there but i'll be using the first file that's one of titled anova anova so because i'm imparting we will start indexing from zero so index from zero so this is zero so I'll, my square bracket is used for indexing so zero and it picks this file up so we'll have to read this file into into the visual studio code can do that too. I can create a variable say df and then pd dot read. I'm going to read the file. So and it's an Excel sheet, so I'll take Excel sheet and then file then my square bracket and then zero. So I've read it now. So let's open it and see pd dot. I want to just take a heading of it. So I'll just head heading. So this is a file. So this is a file now. So this is a file. These are the scores. For each case, um, each each case, each um, teaching method. So these are the scores for them. Now we have read our data into um, the Visual Studio Code. Our next step is to change the data frame into two tables, that means into two columns. So in doing that, to we have to create a new variable. Let's say df dot new, then we bring our equal sign. Then pd dot melt is a command that is used in Converting um, that set tables into two column table. Then we'll bring our this and then we'll create our data frame. DF is a data frame. So dot. We are going to reset everything. So reset. 
underscore index index okay so we have our id here id variable oh, we will not be creating it so i'll put none there then we'll come to our our, our variable our value value with this one too we are going to put in the headers the headers so we have blackboard here first look at blackboard here and uh bring another one again and we have our case presentation case presentation And our PPT, which is PowerPoint presentation. Put it in. Okay, so now we can run it. So we've done that. Now. But we want to, because we have, we want to create a table. So we have to give that one to head into. So p d f new dot column. Just go to um, square brackets. So we want to head in it. Um, we want to say for the teach method. And then we'll have it for instance, we have value here, value, then we'll run. So let's try open it and see what our data frame is. Our data frame. So, so see the way it has been done now. So we have the blackboard, so the blackboard values after we come to case present, presentation and come to PPT. Come to PPT. We can even shorten it by making it just taking five head, command the head, and we'll just and we have only five of them there now. So now we have we have changed our data, um, our data frame into this two column data frame. Now what we are going to left is for us to import um, our statistical methods where we can use to get the ANOVA. So we, we have to get it from SciPy. So from SciPy, we import we import stats. These are libraries we need to use, otherwise you can't actually um, run ANOVA. And then we also need, um, we need to import, we need to import, we need to import start model, start model, dot start model, dot API, as SM SM then from stats model to dot formula formula dot API um, imports OLS Yes, so we have imported our libraries that will be used for the ANOVA statistics now. So now we are going to model it now. So let's say let's create a model like a variable called model. Let's say called then we'll use our OLS OLS square bracket uh, um brackets. Um so now we are going to use our value against this method. So we we'll put our quote the the value value and put our carrot sign there and then see and then we'll put method the title method that's method afterwards why are we using a data frame are you using the new data frame we'll called df.new so df underscore new underscore new. then we'll fit it it's a model so we have to fit it now so fit it and run Okay, now we have fit our model. So our, our, we have fit our model on the on the data frame. So like I now say one way and over, one way and over, like a variable called one way and over. That's a variable we've created. So from our start model SM, our start model SM, we can go to start dot ANOVA. Then we we'll put our model, this model, this variable here. So model, we have model here, and then the type because the one we are uh, ANOVA, we we'll put one there, one, and we'll run. So now let's open, let's one, one, 
and nova nova so so now we have our table here so these are the method so from our this we can see that we had our p-value to be 0 0.01336 so we can see that our p-value is less than 0 0.05 then we can actually reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternate hypothesis hello guys thank you for your time if you like this video kindly um like it and subscribe for it for more video thank you